Okay, this is the Coleman cooler repair. What I did was, this is the right fan for it right here. I went, I ordered it, and they sent it to me. Uh, this one works, and I got this one from the computer store, which if you look, they're both the same fan. Only difference is, is the fact that this one lights up, and it comes with all these wires. Don't, don't let it fool you. All you have to do is only two wires when you get a lot of wires like this together what you do is worry about your black wire and your red wire you see that it's black and red right so what I do is connect the red to red which is hot and this one here where you see it's uh, I'm sorry where it's black red and black well that's your hot wire that's your hot wire no I'm sorry the red one is your hot this is your ground. I'm sorry, my fault, my bad. The black and red is the ground, the red is the hot. So you wanna cut those two wires like I did. These two wires was connected and I cut it. So if I hook these two together, hook the black one to the red and white one and the black one to this red one, this fan is gonna cut on. I'm gonna go inside and I got actually got three fans. I'm gonna make my decision up to see which one is faster, which one I like. I did actually buy a faster one that I'm putting on there. So I'm gonna let you see what how to do it. So hold on, I'm gonna pause it, take this off, and show you how to do it. Show you how it's done. Okay, now as you see, right? I got the um the the back part of it which is this off right and um you can see the dust all that that's on the fan in the back you know what I'm saying that's what keeps your fan keeps when the fan work it keeps that heat sink from being cooled is the dust that you see that's in the, in in between the heat sink that's in between this thing right here it's called a heat sink all that in between is nothing but dust all right so now i need to take this fan off all right now you can you can see clear between this you see all that dirt you see how the um you get all that lint dust up in there you get a toothbrush like this and all that shit, all that stuff come out like so you see that you clean it going like this that's how you clean it Okay, when you, you go online, you look for this fan. It's called the Ever Cool. Ever Cool. That's the model number of the fan. You see it's EC922-5HH12BP. Okay. This is a fan that you want to go and buy. You, you might spend a little bit more money, but guess what? You're gonna have a damn good cool that's gonna last for years. And it's better than the original fan that comes with it, you know? This is the fan you wanna replace it with. And it's more faster, which means it'll cool it off the heat sink and it'll put more cool air inside your cooler. Okay, when you're replacing the fan, right? If you look, at other pictures that they replacing the fan on YouTube, they have the the name, the manufacturer and the fan out this way, which means the air is sucking off of the heat sink and blowing out. You don't want that. You want the air to blow on it. So if I turn it this way with the lettering, put it this way, right? So it's gonna blow all the air, it's gonna hit straight into the heat sink like so, and it's gonna cool it off. You see what I'm saying? And um, when you put it in, like I told you, we don't get scared when you see a bunch of wires. Only wires that you're gonna be messing with is the red wire right there and the black wire. You're gonna take, you're gonna cut those two wires, cut the red wire and the black wire. What I did was I taped it. I taped the, the black wire. As you look here, black going to black. Red going to red right there. And I put tape around them both and and then I hold them both together and I retaped it, right? 
So if I want to go later and replace the fan again, if I have to, it'd be easier for me to replace the fan than it is if I solder those wires together. I could solder them, but if they go bad, I, I have to keep cutting and cutting. I don't want to shorten the, the cord. So I just decided to just attach it to it. Of course, the power is off. So when I put the fan, put this new fan there, the old fan there, this is the new fan, which is faster. I'm going to attach it like that. So all the air that's being sucked in here that this fan is getting the hold to is going directly on the heat sink, just like so. You, you see? But I'm going to take this and wrap it around that so it doesn't get cut. So hold on. See, now what I did was all that extra wire, I put it, it's going here along the side of there like like so it's not going to get in, in in the place of the blade i'm gonna make sure of that so i'm just giving you an idea showing you how i'm doing mines all right now when you're putting the fan back if you notice i'm using the longest screws for the inside uh, on on the four corners of the fan one two three four four corners is going to be long screws like this the short one is to put that one back on just let you know so you don't get you know scared it's easy to do if I could do it you could do it taking the back of the toothbrush cleaning this off as you see so I don't have to worry about cleaning for the next six months right so all that's clean right put the fan back fan is there the new fan is there so what I'm gonna do is close this right like so See, these are the wires that you got to make sure that they're on the side, that they don't get cut. Now, I got it like this. I, it, it ain't going to mess up. Trust me. So, you take you take this, right, like so. And if it, it make sure you watch the wires on the side, right? Just want to make sure you're watching the wires on the side. So you want to turn this over like so, right? And play with this till you got it flush. See how it's flush right now, right? So all I got to do is put those four screws in. Remember, the power got to be off when you're cutting those wires and you're hooking them back. But make sure you put power so you could, you know, test it. Make sure the fan cut on and all that. I didn't do that, but I should have did that to show you. But I know what I'm doing, so I don't really have to do that. So I'm just taking a short turn. I should have put power to it before I put it together to make sure the fan worked, but I got confidence in myself and I know it works. So as soon as I put these four screws back, we'll be in business. Okay. All right, what I'm doing is I'm testing it to make sure the fan has worked. So what I'm doing is, get, zoom in, Devin. I want to get this red wire touching the red, black on black. That's how you know if that fan works. Don't be scared, it's going to shock you. You see the fan going to start spinning around. See it? See the fan going around? That's how you know the fan worked good. So it's good. So I'm going to unplug it. Because the red light is on. The, the green light let me know power getting to it. So I'm unplugging it. So since I'm unplugging it, I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna do. Hook red to red. So I hit, I'm gonna hook this red wire to red, black to black, and that's it. Okay, if you look right here, I'm, I'm point at it. Okay, if you look right there, the black wire is connected to the black wire, and the red wire connected to the red wire now you see the fan it's on right you can't hear it it's real quiet it's on I'm letting you see it then I cleaned up while I was in the back so now I'm gonna put the black electrical tape around it and call it a day now make sure that you unplug the electrical wire the cord that's going into the socket so that the fan has stopped working so you can install the black electrical, put the black electrical tape around the red wire and the black wire right there. You can't see it, but right there. 
All right. No. We're gonna put a black electrical tape around both wires. Watch this. Now you see I put tape around that black one and the red wire right there, right? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna combine them together like this and put tape around both of them so they don't move or at all. Okay, now, now tape them both together, right? All right. Okay, well you can't see the fan turning around but it's working. The air, you can feel the air being sucked from the inside as it's hitting the fan. You can feel it. Um, I'm sure inside the cooler is going to get a lot cooler because I install a much better fan. I know it's going to avoid my warranty, but I haven't had this cooler now for three years. So who, who gives a F about a warranty? You know, it's time for the fan to go out. I put a better fan, uh, more quieter and more faster so which means it's my cooler is going to be a lot more cooler and i want you to see that now it's done and took me only 10 minutes really so with me showing you guys so now you know how to do it y'all have a nice day from david jones coleman 40 quart cooler and i'm showing you how to fix it and it's easy as one two three a twenty dollar piece that I bought to put in there a $20 fan comparing to go spending another what $110, $115 for another cooler guess what this cooler is going to last me another 3-4 years and I kid you not that's how you do it 40 quart Coleman cooler repair you have a nice day now guys I'm David uh, leave me a message whatever you want and I'll see what I could do to get it on and to get it fixed for you Show you how to fix your problem. You take care and have a nice day. Later.